Ooh. Oh, yeah. So I was going to go live, but YouTube won't let me. I guess my channel doesn't meet the criteria. So I'll just pre record it and just put it up. Um, hopefully, I don't have to edit too much. I have the kids and the husband. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to do uh, an unboxing, a live. Well, it was going to be live, but I'm going to unbox all of our new acquisitions. We've gone a little crazy uh during this quarantine um a few blind buys we me <laughs> mostly me um a few blind buys um some that i've already smelled let me see a couple gifts there's samples too maybe i'll go through the samples and then i'll talk about where i get them from and um yeah, just some places that you can check out if you're looking to purchase fragrances, some discounts. <sighs> Let's get right into it. Let's go. Which one? I'm going to save the best for last because it's in a pretty box. Yes, peanuts. All right. Hubby's handing me. All right. So first one. Now, this is not a blind buy. I smelled it. It was love at first sniff. This is Andy Tower or Tower... Um, Fragrances Eau Corps du Desert X Straight de Parfum. Uh, really beautiful scent. I actually prefer this one over the um, LDDM, which is Lair du Desert Moroccan. It, this one's the um, intense version. It's smokier, it's um, richer. For me, it's longer lasting, it projects more. Now, this is probably gonna be. I'm not good at tearing things open, so let's let's just go for it. So it comes in this pretty box. Hopefully the light is not too bright. How nice. And on the back, wait, I don't know if I open the front or the back. I guess the back. Do I, let's see. Oh, it slides. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the bottle's okay. The bottle's okay. The bottle's okay. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> All right. Oh, it slides open, and let's put my hand so everything doesn't fall out. All right. And it comes with this guy. Ooh, how pretty. Uh, this is signed by hand and joy by Mr. Andy Tower himself. How nice. I love it. Okay. So it comes in here. This is like a metal tin. And here it is. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to wear this one. I don't care if it's hot in Florida. Probably be oh, probably better in uh, cold weather, but mm, let's Sorry. see. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not going to waste too much of it. So beautiful. Smoky. Magical. I cannot tell you what the notes are. There's, it's, I think it's, it's an strong. amber. Yeah, it's very, very strong. It's, masculine. it does lean a little bit more masculine, but I think in the dry down, I think on me, it's perfectly unisex. I really do, I think. But yeah, maybe this one's a little bit more masculine, more than the um, Lair du Desert, but I don't care. All right, first one done. How many do I have? Did I say how many I had? I think there's like nine. We were waiting on one more. Yeah, we were waiting on one more, um, but it didn't make it because it's coming from overseas. So I'll just do a separate unboxing for that one. Oh, I'm so silly. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't show you where this one was from. Okay, so this one was packaged up. I just ripped it open without showing you. So this comes from... This one is um, Shalimar Souffle Intense, and this is Serge Luton's um, Santal Majusque. 
majuscule, majuscule, which is upside down. But this came from Fragrance Net, and it usually comes box like this, um, packaged like this. And um, you can actually, Fragrance Net is one of my favorite places to buy uh, perfumes. And let me backtrack. I didn't say where I got the Andy Tower from. I got this one from Perfumology. And Nur Guy is, um, I guess he's one of the owners. I think it's him and his mother. Um, and yeah, really nice people. Really um, amazing collection. I love supporting small businesses. So um, they are on Instagram, Perfumology. I'll leave everything linked down below. But I did get the uh, Andy Tower Au Corps du Desert from there and um yeah it was just really nice talking to him back and forth he included some samples he included samples of zoologist the new version of bat what else did he include and a few more so yeah he was very generous with the samples and some of their own creations they have their own line as well the perfumology line which we really liked uh lima or laima i say lima i don't know if it's um the inspiration behind that is uh, Peru, um, half Peruvian. So I think it's Lima, like Lima, Peru, the capital. But yeah, Perfumology, that was the first fragrance. Second set is from Fragrance Net, comes like this. Love buying from Fragrance Net. You can find amazing deals. You can find fragrances that are actually pretty hard to find. Sometimes they carry, um, yeah, mama. <laughs> Sometimes they carry, um, yeah, things that you won't find in the stores and stuff. So these definitely I cannot find around here. So, Serge Lutens. Let's start with this one. This is Santal Majus. Can I hear really nice things? Um, I know uh, Glenn at Mr. Cologne 76 talks highly of this one. So this is a blind buy. So we'll see, you'll see my first impressions and see if I like it or not. I think I keep looking over there, but the camera's over here, sorry guys. All right, so box comes like this. It comes, this is how my other Serge Lutons came to. Comes with a separate, the actual sprayer you have to put on because it comes with this little bolly thing. Let's just take it all out. Ta-da. Not doing very well. All right, nice like bottle. it is. All the all the bottles are really nice. Beautiful colored juice. All of the bottles come like this. So you screw this off, and you can either keep it like this, but I don't know why you would want to do that, or put this on. Ooh, that's nice. Can't really tell anything, but that has a nice uh, scent. And then, ta-da! All right, let's see it on here oh that's nice very nice um, it is sandalwood oh that's nice is there some spices maybe there's some spices in there oh very nice almost delicate really beautiful can't wait to wear that one that's nice I really like that one first impression good like nice I think bedtime scent because you it's like not, really strong stuff. No, it's not too it's strong. very strong. It's not really. I think it's strong. It's more of a doll like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that. That's a nice, um, uh, more masculine leaning, I think, sandalwood. Some sandalwoods, um, I think, can get a little femme, but that's really nice. Yeah, I yeah. feel like Serge Lutens have this like DNA about them. They're very unique. Smells similar to um, which one? I'm not, I'm not gonna say Shergi. It doesn't. It's mm, you know because they, the, I think they have like, like that little, DNA yeah. that uh, Serge Lutens DNA where it's like interesting. <laughs> their their scents are very unique. Like I don't know, just beautifully blended and um, yeah, there's a little bit of a smokiness to it. Mm, really nice. I can't wait to put that one on skin. All right, next up. So I've been trying to get, I love the bottles of these Shalimars, but I didn't like the original um, when I smelled it. And then I was just scouring for reviews and I came across the souffle 
line and um, this intense one got the best review so that's really why I picked that one that, that's yeah just because of the reviews I went straight off the reviews um, and because I really wanted this bottle it's a beautiful beautiful bottle so we'll see let's throw a little guy there Oh, that smells really nice. I like it does, I like that. I'll go back and smell them. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Just pull it out so I don't See how beautiful? Wow. I love it. So the um, original Shalimar is, I think, clear. It's a clear bottle. I kind of love this blue. I don't really have anything blue like this. It's not nice. It's nice in this bottle. All right. So this is also first impression. Haven't smelled it. Oh, I'm going to spray it in the box, I guess. Yeah, let's spray it in the box. I'll spray it on this thing. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's beautiful. Yep. Really beautiful. Sweet. Vanilla clean there's something very clean about it refreshing maybe there's some citruses in here oh yeah that's beautiful that's a nice like fresh out of the shower kind of scent it but like it has oh careful mama it smells like soap it smells like a little bit like, like clean soap. yeah, yeah it smells clean oh can i just put that one on i have oh i have well I'll, I'll show you what i have i'll do that one next what i have on I want to see what it smells so like nice, on my very, skin. Very fresh scent. Very nice, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. I like that. I just inhaled a bunch of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very refreshing. It is. It does have that Shalimar kind of DNA where, um, to me, Shalimar smelled too, like, bathroom-like. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Um, I don't know like something I don't know something off about it that it, like on me it just didn't work but not that I didn't like the smell it was just something in it and this one is just a perfect balance of that Shalimar DNA with like just vanilla and maybe citrus Whoa. some kind of fresh freshness to it so I'll have to look at the notes again I I don't have the notes in front of me so I will do reviews on all of these so stay tuned for those but yeah I'm really excited about this one Shalimar so those two were from fragrance net I do have a couple more from fragrance net. okay let's do my scent of the day I cheated and I opened this one up and the reason is I got this one from eBay I do purchase some fragrances from eBay um, I'm very careful about the sellers. I'm, I will list some of the sellers that I trust down below, but this is a vintage um, Mitsoku by Guerlain. It's when I checked the batch code, it was from 1998, which I think qualifies it as vintage. Um, beautiful. I got a sample of a vintage from um, Ruth All Things Beauty and I fell in love and I just, I needed, I needed it. I needed it. It's just a classic. It's a classic smell. Um, it's a, a classic Sheepra. It's just the oak moss in it is beautiful. There's a fruitiness to it. It has so much depth and volume. If you like those um, just very rich classic vintage smells, then this is a must have uh, for your collection. And if you can find one um, from what before the IFRA, you know, put in their standards and stuff, then even better because I think they use the, um, oh, that fell off. I think they use um, synthetic oak moss or something after that. Uh, whereas this one has the um, natural oak moss, I believe. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not an expert. But yes, and I know because the, now the newer versions come in the white box and this one comes, this one comes in the gold, gold box. The ones that are more vintage-y come in the gold. And I think even more vintage come in like these white boxes with like black zigzags. So yes, be on the lookout for that one, but be careful where you buy your fragrance 
fragrances from on eBay because there are people who like to scam and say things are vintage and they're not. Not good. But yeah, like that one. Oh, righty then. Here we go. Let's do this one. Oh, that Shalimar smells very, very nice. I don't have anything like that in my collection. Just that like fresh, very clean smell. smell. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, hubby approved. Okay, let's see. So this box, this little box is from a local perfumery called Osme Perfumery and I have purchased from them before. I love Maurice and Babaka. They are the sweetest people. They're very knowledgeable. If when all this is over, if you get a chance, if you're in the area, um, they're in Miami to stop by please do because it's a whole experience they walk you through basically i think when we went there we smelled <laughs> it had to have been like over 20 perfumes it was very overwhelming it was hard to choose just one but i did walk out with only one i got um histories de parfums amber 114 but i left with like a list of some that i i wanted um one of them was uh nobel 1942 la danza del libelu which i ordered because they're having there and i think they're still currently having a sale so please check them out um and then i wanted another one from nobel 1942 and take advantage of the sale and this one is ambra nobel so i did because this one wasn't uh <laughs> wrapped i did cheat and peek now i was a little bit bummed because it didn't come with the same beautiful cap that la danza came with and what uh maurice and bavica told me when i uh messaged them was that this is the vintage cap so and i may still be able to get the other cap but still gorgeous bottle beautiful beautiful bottle it's similar to La Danza. This is a little bit different it's better in the front. Cap to me. You like this cap yeah, better? I like that cap. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's still beautiful. It's still a beautiful presentation. Um, yeah, it comes in this little box. Uh, it, it didn't come um, sealed in plastic, but that's okay. And it's amber. It did look look this one. Out. Oh, you want me to spray it? Yeah, really nice. There's um. There's fresh like the other one? It or? is a little bit yeah. fresh. Yeah, there's citruses in there. There's amber. There's vetiver in the base. Um, it's a really, I think it's really beautiful. Yeah, there's such like a luxurious kind of delicate quality to it. I think with all of these, they're just so, yeah, very elegant smelling. It's like, different. yeah, very nice. It's a very nice take on an amber it doesn't smell like any of the ambers i have just gorgeous i'm really really happy with this one so that's from osme perfumery again i'll leave everything linked down below and they always do include some samples so i got samples of parfums de marley pegasus parfums de marley atalia or athalia and some house that i have not heard of Ma Majda Bakali or Ma Majda Majda Bakali. This one's called Mu Mudahar. Mudahar. Not sure. I'm trying to read and see if it's. Oh. I get any info. Let me see, Peanut. Thank Hello. you. Like maybe she's putting that in her mouth. Oh, <laughs> we don't need the baby choking on, on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, that's it for Osme. No? Ooh. Okay, so uh, these technically are my husband's. He is obsessed with Mancera, and most of the man, she, she's destruction all the time, my little baby. Um, he's obsessed with Mancera, so he's got um, a few Manceras in his collection, and he just added two more. So he added Red Tobacco and Oud Cafe, both blind buys. Um, normally, we just blind buy Manceras. We're pretty yeah. confident that he's gonna like them um <laughs> we go by reviews and just notes and try to kind of you know pick the best ones but yes let's do it let's do it these are from fragrance net fragrance net is where we get all of our manceras um they also have montels so that's where we where we 
splurge. <laughs> They're really good price. I mean, you can't beat the price. It's really hard to resist a good deal. Yeah. All right. So they all come in these beautiful little gold. Some some are gold. Some are different color um, bags. And oh. Just the color. This is red tobacco. Now we hear amazing things about this one, and hopefully, it'll be a winner. But oh my god! So this one, this most of them are screw caps, right? No, some are magnetic. Some are magnetic. Yeah. This one's a screw. Ooh, I already know. You're gonna love that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> you smell it too? She's you gotta smell, smell too. Some? Obviously, we smell way too many things. Our daughter knows. <laughs> All right, let's see. How do I do this? Right here. Yeah, his face. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera, but yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. That's, that's a really nice tobacco, oh, you guys. It's, it's yeah. Really nice. I like yeah. That. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Can you look uh, up the notes real quick on that? that is, because that is, it smells a little boozy. That is really good. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's going to settle down to something creamy. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice, you guys. Definitely more masculine. Um, I don't mind that so much, but not a safe blind buy. Unless you absolutely love all tobaccos. Um, but yeah, wow. Wow. Oh, did I show you guys the top of the bottle? How pretty, too? Uh, it has this little thing at the top. So while he's looking up the notes on that one, let me go and open up Ode Cafe. And I wanted a coffee one. So let's see. Let's see if I like this one. Yes, that's nice. Yeah, that's going to be. And now Mancera's all have monster performance have the, uh, projection. And that's why he here. likes them. So if you, you're somebody who likes your fragrances strong, you want, you know, people to smell last you, all last all day, then um, definitely recommend the whole Mansara house. Another little baggie, little gold baggie. Uh, they make beautiful gifts too with these little baggies. So, oops, ooh, all right, here we go. Oh, cafe. This one has that gradient gradient brown to like clear it's uh, what are you doing peanut mm, that smells nice too see the thing about it so you can smell them you know that they're gonna smell good right right from the bottle and this one's a twist top too this one has an M instead of that pretty I guess they're different collections right let's see the notes on red tobacco are saffron cinnamon incense nutmeg white pear green apple agarwood or oud um, patchouli jasmine tobacco amber guayacwood sandalwood haitian vetiver madagascar vanilla and white musk yeah that is winning winning um no combination very good blind let me see i didn't smell he sprayed the oud cafe he wasn't gonna let me smell it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. It is. There's it's sandalwood too, in that. Too much like coffee. Look up so. the. Yeah, no, it's. Mm, almost like caramel. Hmm. Oh, see, sí, Mama. Gracias. She's showing you guys my phone case. Gracias, Mama. Hi. Say hi. Let's see if I can turn this without. Hi. <laughs> All right. The notes on Oud Cafe are black currant, peach, bergamot, amber, floral notes, coffee, white musk, sweet notes, and woody notes. So yeah, it's definitely very sweet. It's on the sweeter side for sure. Did it say sandalwood? Amber? It said amber, right? Hmm. No sandalwood, but amber, I guess that's what I smell. Yeah, very sweet, very nice, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one. I like that better than, um, I just smell, I smelled um, Ristretto Intense Cafe by Montel, um, and that wasn't really for me, but I really like that um, Oud Cafe from what I sprayed. So let's see when I actually wear it, 
how it's gonna how it's gonna wear but i really like that from that initial spray okay we're down to two more two more <gasps> We've been wanting that for a while. I know. So we've gone back and forth, right? We've tried a couple clones. We tried not to splurge, but it just, you know, we weren't getting the same effect. That same, it wasn't making the same mark. The clones just didn't do it for us. So we went ahead and splurged and got Mimo African leather. And yeah, look at this box. It's huge. It's like the size of my face. <laughs> let's see uh we got this african leather from where i forget uh i think that's fragrance net as well oh fragrance yes, net. Yes, okay yes. so another fragrance net fragrance net has a huge selection my daughter might knock down the light so. um huge selection so that's awesome yeah we got a pretty good deal on this one actually a very good deal i think it was like a hundred dollars off right i think something like something that, like close, that. Close to so it. beautiful presentation that's a creepy um look oh this one comes with the look mama you want that well i actually was gonna read them that but you can have it maybe you'll give it back to me later okay yeah this one <laughs> she was about to have a meltdown so beautiful presentation like leather ish i don't know i don't know if it's real leather i think it might be um and then you open it up whoa it's backwards <gasps> I feel like we had to take a moment of silence for that one. <laughs> All right, the gorgeous model. Oh my God, it's just so regal. Like, I can't smell anything. <laughs> let me let me spray it. Okay, so a safari leather. Um, Ivy. I love hey, mommy. My other daughter's sitting there too. All right, let's spray it. See if I can get the same you know scent memory it was when i first sprayed it well this is on paper so i remember just being magical on my skin yeah yeah that's it are you tearing up a little bit <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah there's just something the about it. Don't do it i mean me. Listen, the clones get very close. I would say 80 to 90% um, similar, and I actually have to do reviews on one of them. That last clone you got was Yeah, pretty, was really pretty, pretty dead on. Now, the, the only issue is the, the performance. I mean, this is a monster, monster. Um, you don't need much. Yeah, it's really beautiful. You don't need much. Um, Yeah, there's just something about it. Just something about it. Mm. You smell into a peanut? Let's see. Wow. It says elephant trunk, cardamom, mm. giraffe neck, bergamot, wild cat, sand, leopard spots, saffron, rhinoceros. Case. Yeah, I think it's real leather. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> saffron, rhinoceros, horror, cumin, lion mane, patchouli, uh, gazelle hoof, geranium, nocturnal bush babies, celestial sphere, bat-eared fox, grapefruit, <laughs> snakeskin, udicord, eagle eye, me? vetiver, buffalo neck, musk, green monitor lizards. I don't think buffalo this is for neck? real. They're just, just messing around. <laughs> this is like the description, right? It's like the, you know, African safari. <laughs> Green monitor lizards, moss, blue wildebeest, winter sun, zebra stripes, leather cord, cheetah paws, cedar, antelopes racing, Very savanna, nice. meerkat smile, spices, crocodile tooth, heat. So that's kind of like the story they're trying to paint. Mm. Um, but the actual notes are oil of bergamot, oil of cardamom, oil of saffron, oil of cumin, geranium absolute, oil of patchouli, oud cord, leather cord, essence of vetiver, and musk. Yes. Oh, God. Very nice. Very nice. Spicy, rich, masculine, definitely, but I love this one. Oh, God. The vetiver just, I don't know. The leather, I don't, I don't think it's like a leather heavy fragrance. I wouldn't. No, not too much leather. The leather is smooth. It's not anything like anomalic or anything like that or the, you know. It is like strong though. Definitely not a safe blind buy. Definitely test it out, but beautiful. Mm. God, I can't stop smelling it. There, take it away from me. Okay. 
Last one. Last but not so, least. So, I got this as a gift. So, this is a gift for me. Thank you. There you go. I oh, appreciate it. Look how nice it comes, Bob. So this is a gift for my husband. Thank you very much. Here we go. All right, opening it up, opening it up. I, I, I know what it is, right? Yeah, we smelled it before. Yeah, smelled it. We got a, this sample is also from Ruth All Things Beauty. Oh, wow. That's very nice, very nice. All right, I'll package like that. Let's just take it out of this box. That is heavy, heavy. Can y'all see what that says? This one came from what, Saks? Saks on sale. They have a sale going on. They have a sale going on, so definitely check them out. Wow. Ta da! Beautiful. Oh, this way he told me to turn it. Ta da! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Let me take this. Let me take this so it's not so shiny. Hmm, <gasps> so it's joining the club. I guess we're in the Zerzhoff club. This is officially our first Zerzhoff, and that's hopefully we don't lose our minds because Zerzhoffs are pretty pricey and for good reason. I mean, the presentation, I mean, that's really what you're paying for. Um, all, and you know, the quality of the ingredients, but Jesus, this presentation. It's unreal. Hold on. Even like the inside. Let's see. Wow. Oh, another leather case. Yep. Jeez, look at that. Another one that's like the size of my face. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's really that's what you're paying for. Oh. Hold on, I don't want it to fall out. Can y'all see that? Wow, let me just take it out before it falls out. I feel like I shouldn't even be touching it. <laughs> <laughs> it went all out on that. Seriously, wow. I mean, seriously. Yeah, pretty nice. This is pretty nice. And we have smelled this before. We did sample it. Not um, intelligent to blind buy this because it's very expensive, but it's um, what I get is a Oud rose and spices. Yeah, really beautiful. A little bit, something, um, maybe a little fruity. A little bit, Sweet. Not too much. There's a sweetness to it. Um, really, really nice. Definitely um, worth sampling. If you love like ruse, ruse, <laughs> rose oud combinations, um, the, it's not like your typical rose oud. There's definitely like a, um, elegance to it so yeah that one was a uh, ignorant buy no just kidding <laughs> it's very nice it is it is he really enjoyed it so you know I like it on you Compliment, yeah get her. yeah it's very nice yeah he likes this one so thank you very much for that ivy ivy thank you thank you thank you <laughs> oh no no yeah baby you don't play with this one this one's expensive, Why is it yeah, this one's expensive. oh she grabbed the top off Ooh, even the paper. The paper is like velvet. Nice. I like it. Mm, not in your mouth, ain't it? She just drooled all over it. All right. So that's it. That's all we got, right? Yeah. All right. Hope there's no more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We, we're going to chill out for a while. We got to. We have to chill out for a while. Uh, there we go. That's a uh, quarantine haul. You know, we haven't been doing anything but eating and shopping. So make sure, you know, all your bills are paid. Don't, don't, you know, don't live under the bridge just to go buy perfume, you guys. I mean, this is by no means to um, flaunt or pressure you into buying anything. Just showing you, having fun. And uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was Mm, can't wait to wear all of these but yeah we're gonna slow down for a while so there won't be any more hauls thank you guys so much for watching um if you are not subscribed mm, and you want to see the craziness please subscribe to my channel i do fragrance and product reviews like this video if you enjoyed it hit the notifications i'm going to up my um 
upload schedule to um, not only Mondays at four, but also Wednesdays at four, because I just have a lot of ideas, a lot of content that I want to get out. And I have the time, even though, you know, I have the kids and I'm busy. Um, he's helping me out a lot with watching them so I can film a few videos and get more out a week. So I'm going to do two videos a week, um, Mondays and Wednesdays at four. Thank you guys for watching. Mwah.